Hello everyone here, respected teachers and all my dear friends. I, Odisha Pandey of class 9th B and my team members Shashwat, Pratishtha, Arushi, Ayan, Krishna and Avish are going to present our project given by respected Parmitna. The topic for our project is CFC replacement and in our project video merging and editing is done by Shashwat Voiceover is done by every team member respected to their topics. Content for the video is managed by the team members respected to their topics. I hope you like our presentation. Keep watching. Thank you. So let us see what are CFCs. Chlorofluorocarbons, commonly known as CFCs, are grouped of man-made compounds containing chlorine, fluorine and carbon. These are very harmful compounds as they were depleting the ozone layer. The production of CFCs began in 1930s for the purpose of refrigeration and they were used in making as roller sprays, freeze, used in freezers, refrigerators and ACs etc. But nowadays the use of CFCs are completely banned in all over the world and the chlorofluorocarbons are replaced by hydrochlorofluorocarbons as they were destroying the ozone layer single chlorine atom from the CFC can destroy thousand molecules of the ozone layer but HCFCs are more better than CFCs so let's see what are HCFCs it refers to the hydrochlorofluorocarbons are interim replacement compound for CFCs. These are the substance containing hydrogen, carbon, fluorine, and chlorine chemicals. But the question is why HCFCs are better than CFCs? And the answer is that due to presence of hydrogen in HCFCs, they first react to the troposphere and then reaches to the stratosphere. And so little amount of carbon reaches to the ozone layer that is in our stratosphere and that's why HCFCs are more better than CFCs. Now I am going to start up with my topic that is first topic is aerosols. Aerosols is a suspension of fine solid particles or liquid droplets in air or another gas. Aerosols can be natural or anthropogenic like uh, examples like uh, fog, mist, mist dust forest geyser steam it's a colloidal solution having gas as dispersion medium and solid as a dispersion phase an aerosol is a suspension steam of solid or liquid particle in a gas it is found that an aerosols contain both the particle as well as air i have a little bit additional information on aerosols that is there are some application found like it is used for calibrating instruments and testing sampling equipments also, it is widely used for medical treatments of respiratory disease. Colites can be classified on the basis of the types of particles in the dispersed phase into following types multimolecular colites, micromolecular colites, associated colites. We have already discussed various colloidal solutions. One should not get confused in terms between dispersion phase and dispersion medium. It is also important to note that dispersion Dispersed phase is one of the two phases in a collide. A dispersion medium is the continuous phase of a collide. Yeah. Tell you how CFC is damages the ozone layer. The first point by which the ozone layer is damaged is the use of pesticides, methanely bromide, while less common than freon and other restricted ozone damaging substances break down in the air and releases bromine which dis uh, disappears into the stratosphere and vigorously attack ozone molecules the second way by which ozone layer is damaged is the use of uh, refrigerator which produce cfcs the health issues cfc and hcfcs are lighter than air so they rises into the stratosphere where ultraviolet rays light freeze the chlorine a single chlorine atom can destroy thousands of ozone molecules thinning the earth protective ozone layer the third way is the use of the 
use of the air conditioner the there are two ways that air conditioners can harm the environment the first way is if older type of cooling fluid escape into the atmosphere they, these fluid called cfcs or chlorofluorocarbon react with ozone in the atmosphere this make it harden for the ozone layer to shield us from intensive direct sunlight so these are the ways that the ozone layer is damaged by the cfc thank you difference between cfc and scfc so let's start uh, first uh, uh, definition Uh, CFC is a class of compounds containing uh, fully uh, halogenated uh, paraffin hydrocarbons okay and uh, the definition of uh, SCFC SCFC is a class of compounds having a chemical structure very similar to C- uh, CFC okay uh, then com- uh, components of those uh, CFC contains only carbon fluorine and chlorine atoms and uh, scfc contains uh, hydrogen carbon fluorine and chlorine atoms okay uh, and then uh, per, uh, persistence uh, cfcs uh, have a uh, higher persistence okay uh, and uh, scfcs uh, have a uh, lower persistence uh, it what uh, does it uh, impact on uh, uh, environment so uh, cfc uh, cfc causes serious ozone uh, depletions and scfc has a very less impact on the ozone layer as it undergoes uh, photochemical decomposition uh, before reaching the upper atmosphere see bad effect on ozone layer and the environment when the ozone layer gets damaged due to the cfc's bad effect more and more uv rays are let through due to damage it cannot absorb as much radiation anymore thus allowing the rays to hit the earth directly uv rays in their full effect can harm the skin and dna of both the plants and animals as they contain very high level of radiation which can lead to widespread of plant death and increased cancer rates now i am going to explain that how can we reduce its harmful effect So now that you see that CFCs are extremely damaging to the ozone layer and you know that UV rays cause all kinds of organic life to die you will probably want to know ways to reduce these harmful effects companies are becoming more and more aware of CS- CFC output therefore they have been making more environmentally friendly alternatives instead of CFCs companies have been using hydrochlorofluorocarbons better known as hcfcs and an even better alternative to this is hydrofluorocarbons or hfc for short these are less damaging to the ozone and you should choose products with these alternatives in conclusion i can say that in the end we hope you know a little more about the ozone layer thank you